the BMW X6 SUV. It is big, it's bold, and in its third generation, it's a contender for World Luxury Car of the Year. third generation of the BMW X6 is a better car than the one it has replaced. Sure, we can say that about most new generation products, but the new X6 is not just a marginal improvement. It has comprehensively overhauled everything from design to driving dynamics while still maintaining the familiar coupe SUV silhouette that this model line first popularized. So when you compare it to its predecessor, the new car is miles apart. And yet the familiarity comes from the kind of performance, build and interiors the recent launches from BMW have got us used to. This is the absolute beast in the company's lineup. The car is wider, a tad shorter and has a longer wheelbase than the second generation did. It also has a front grille that looks big enough to eat you for lunch if you're not looking. And by the way, it also gives you BMW's first ever illuminated grille, an optional extra that could be the perfect show-off party trick to impress your friends and family. The grille's glow feature is reserved just for the X6 for now. You can either have it light up when the headlights are on or just when you unlock or lock the car. Now BMW is the one that started off all of these coupe SUVs and uh, I say that with disdain because I think many of you know, I'm not a fan of the body style, but, but I am going to say this, of all the three generations of this car so far, this has got to be the most good looking. And dare I say, it's pretty, I like the way it looks, I can't believe I'm saying that. It's proportionate, it's stylish, and especially at the back here, I think it really has its own distinct personality. Daylight treatment, kind of like what you're seeing on the sports cars from BMW these days, so I like that. And the proportions work, it doesn't just look like an X5 with its roof lopped off. It looks really like it has a nice stance, it looks muscular too and very powerful and energetic. Now, I'm surprising and shocking myself as I say this, continuing in that vein then, all those proportions seem to tie in beautifully to that giant front grille. You know, this is the first new model from BMW where we aren't focusing on that grille because from word go, it doesn't bother me. I think it really looks nice. It's almost in keeping with the stance and size of this vehicle. The finish is really nice. The M40i that I have with me looks great. This color, beautiful. Yes, on looks, the X6 rocks. The new X6 comes with four engine options. There's a 3.0-litre inline-six petrol engine with 340 horsepower, a 4.4 V8 in the M50i that makes 530 horses, and a 3.0-litre diesel in two states of tune, 265 HP on the 30D and 400 horsepower on the M50D. The car is agile, powerful and altogether fun. Needless to say, the X-Drive or all-wheel drive is standard. While the last X6 was also nice to drive, this one is just a whole lot sharper. It is the handling and cornering that have just soared to new heights. It also doesn't feel as big or heavy as it really is. And that's a credit to the car's engineering team. Our test car has the familiar 3.0-litre petrol motor that has served well on several BMW models. Peak torque has a nice wide band and it shows in the way the engine responds. And throw in the fact that you also have the standard twin axle adaptive air suspension and then you're really talking because in terms of dynamics it really adds a lot of sportiness to it when you want it to be like that and it also gives you a lot of comfort so ride quality is fantastic. The X6 gets the Eco Pro, Comfort, Sport and Adaptive Drive modes. The Adaptive mode is pretty intuitive and I enjoyed staying in that for a good blend of agility and comfort. 
The car also has electronic stability control, ABS or anti-lock braking, dynamic traction control, cornering brake control, and other driver aids like the parking assist. It also has six airbags and ISOFIX child seat mounts as standard. An optional extra is the panoramic glass roof with the Sky Lounge ambient light feature. The car is available in X-Line and M Sport trims. The one with me is the M Sport. Optional equipment also includes the ambient air package and head-up display besides the soft touch door closing feature. The Harman Kardon sound system and optional rear seat entertainment screens are also on offer. Despite the coupe roofline, the boot space is pretty good at 580 liters. Fold down the 40-20-40 split seats in the rear and you can go up to 1530 liters. The car is well positioned in terms of its immediate rivals. It offers a good proposition overall, drives better now and is well finished inside and out. Oh, those rivals by the way are the Audi Q8, Porsche Cayenne Coupe and Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe. Don't forget too to follow along on social media, Facebook and Instagram. As we take test drives, we'll share those stories there. And you can find all of our videos on YouTube.